Welcome back, anybody. I'm just watching two HG Plays Dysfunctional Systems, Episode 1, Learn to Manage Chaos. Last time we killed the president, and then he, and he had a message set up to uh, play at the time of his death, or more precisely, his assassination. And uh, now, Mitter is turning to face Cyrus. I merely face Cyrus with intent to spit on his shoes and slap him across the face. If only I could reach. But he drags me away from the crowd before I'm capable capable of either. Sir. You've won, sir. You have your unity in blood. Where's your smile? Why aren't you happy? It's gone precisely as planned. You! Are you not getting this? You just killed an entire city of people, and why? Why, I ask? Because you refused to listen to me, because you were so stubborn, and... Because I couldn't stop you, you miserable, shrewish, murderous oaf. I can't believe this. How could I have let this happen? This weight isn't some something someone like me should bear. I can't bear this enormous load of bullshit. This guilt is at my incap incapability. This fury, this fury at your foolishness. This disgust of myself for my apathy. Why won't you say anything? Look over there. The whole congregation looks to the horizon where there's a glowing light. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait a moment. Where is it? And then Brighton is... Okay, I thought there was a map of the world. I didn't think it was close enough that you'd see the explosion. Anger subsides into shock, which subsides into disbelief, and then acceptance. Don't look into the light. What comes with acceptance is the sadness so sudden, thick, and powerful that tears fall back fall from my eyes before I even realize they're coming. Millions of people are now gone. In a moment, just gone. Burnt up. I am to blame. I failed. Absolutely 100%. I allowed this ruination. Sir, you... I just can't believe you. I just can't accept this. Why did you kill them? An immense wave of sound and energy pounced through us, and I nearly topple, topple over, held still only by tugging at Cyrus' shirt. Shit. Shit! Shit? Well, shit, Cyrus, really? That's all you've got to say after all this? Shit, of all things? Let me tell you what you should be saying right now, you murderer. You- you fucked everything! Settle down, we don't have time for that. He looks very shocked. Oh, wait a second. Oh. I get the feel- Oh, he's probably like, we're way too close to the blast. Cause that does seem kinda close. Ooh. He nods into the light. That light is there is a classic sign of a true fusion bomb, and that shockwave just now tells us it's too strong for its own good. Eh? Brighton couldn't test a nuclear weapon under Gabriel's surveillance, and it shows right there. They use too much reactant, and it's become self-sustaining. Welp, this world is dead. <laughs> Wh what? What a world does that mean? It means that it's going to blow up the entire planet, Winter. It means this whole world is dead. That reaction is going to continue until it's consumed the entire atmosphere and left this planet a barren rock. The whole world? Wh what? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> he turns for me. We need an out. Prioritize the student. The situation is hopeless. Wait, no, wait. Hold on a second. This is impossible. <laughs> what is he saying? It's gotten even worse? Ridiculous. It can't be. No, 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 no. How would this even... Don't tell me after all this happened, this is how it ends? Don't tell me that. <laughs> Made the wrong choice. <laughs> Oops.
The light was actually bright enough to dry my eyes. For a second, I'm pretty sure I've died. So sure, in fact, that my concerns for Raiden's world are briefly overtaken by personal ones, but then I realized if I were dead, I couldn't think. I looked to my right and see Cyrus there, confirming the theory. We've returned home with one less world to worry about. High radiation levels detected. Please remain calm and wait for emergency medical help medical personnel to assist you. <clears> High <throat> radiation levels? It's talking about us? Sir, what's going on? The events of the past four hours have totally beat me over the head, and I'm still reeling from the blows. Right now, I don't know if I should despair over the losses or fear something else. Really, I'm finding it difficult to think I've just not just woken up from some over-imaginative nightmare. We picked up some radiation from the blast, it seems. <clears throat> uh, we'll be fine though, right? Yeah. A disconcerting pause. After a few moments, the entrance to the room opens with a loud clunk, and some people in hazard suits enter, pushing up a trolley along with them. Sir? It's just a precaution. Relax. Relax? I need you both to lie on your backs for us. Cyrus calmly does so, but I do not. I'm going to be okay, right? You will be, if you lie on your back. And if I don't, I feel fine. Well, you should. It takes a while for the symptoms of radiation sickness to set in. Mercy, I'm nervous. Everything was confusing before, but I can easily process the threat to my own life. How long? Well, it depends. The longer, the better. Now, could you please... And what happens if they come on fast? Should I be worried? <laughs> Winter, calm down. Hey, if you just... Oh crap, I'm freaking out. Panic attack. During said freak out, I noticed that she is motioning for another person in a suit to come over. We're going to give you something to calm down. Hold it, I don't want to be calm. This is a perfectly appropriate way to react. If you let us work on you, you won't have any reason to freak out. We'll make sure you get over this. Now lie down so we can. I do so grudgingly, still absolutely worried about everything. The paramedic, paramedic leans over me and from what I can tell, inserts, prepares to insert an IV. It enters with little pain, only a prick, but it's enough to make my eyes water. After they start, they don't stop. I cover my face with my free arm. I, I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, you're not. Look, are you positive you don't want to take something to calm down? It's difficult to talk while I'm choked, sobbing every half second. I, I'm sure. I'm just so s scared. I, I hate this. All right, I'm going to explain what we're doing a bit. I'm going to give you a drug that will quickly clear out the radiation in your body and prevent delayed effects of poisoning. I should say, even though it does that, you're still going to feel the early symptoms of radiation sickness. That's it. The will be sickness, and you won't die from it. You're just going to feel really, really gross. I can put you to sleep until the symptoms pa symptoms pass, if you'd like. No. Whatever. Whatever's coming, I deserve it. <laughs> I made the wrong choice, it seems. Uh, I I don't care if I suffer. Just please don't let me. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. It's our job to keep that from happening, and we're pretty good at it. If you need any further reassurance... Hey, you're not throwing up, right? No spontaneous bowel movements, either. At least, not yet. I'm gonna do what? Oh, man. Just remember that it's going to suck, but you're going to live. Your body has a lot of lost a lot of cells in that blast, and it's going to be bad until they've regenerated. I want to go to my room. Sorry, but you'll have to stay here until the radioactivity is lower to an acceptable level. I'll take you to your room once that's over with. So I lie on the floor, quietly sobbing to myself as I'm medicated through gravity. I'm terrified and I feel terrible, and I only feel terrible that I'm not feeling quite terrible enough. I'm the worst. 
I mean, what are these tears even for? I'm not going to die. Somebody, someone already died. A whole planet of someone's. Don't they, des don't they deserve my tears? I guess now that I'm home, it's just so easy to distance myself from it. Almost like it never happened at all. I know that's not true, but... Well, it's all Cyrus' fault anyway. Even if I fought him tooth and nail, he's my superior, and doing that would be... Arrgh! I don't even want to imagine his face. I make a sincere effort not to look in his direction, even with him lying right beside me. I gaze instead at the black ceiling, trying my best to feel as empty and nondescript as it is. Nope. Guess she took off her red meh red suit. Alright, that should do it. The words break me from a self-induced trance. The person in the hazmat suit has since removed it, and when I turn, I am glad to find a bare hand and smiling face offered to me. Let's be off to your room then. Okay, thank you. She helps me to my feet, which I find are currently very unsupportive. I feel significantly weaker than average, which is saying a lot since I am constantly aware of my natural physical weakness. I sway slightly, but I don't know if that is due to the radiation or just my nerves being completely shot. As the paramedic leads me from the room, I don't bother checking back to see if Cyrus is still there. When we arrive, my roommate is standing against her bed, reading. Got a roommate? Ah! She casually looks in our direction, but withdraws at the sight of me. Winter? Holy sh- Uh, what- what happened? <laughs> Not right now. I like her. She seems like a good person. How are you? Um, do you need any help? Ma'am, is she alright? Uh, she'll be alright, I, but I think about now she needs to puke. Ugh. <laughs> the lady's right. On the long way over to here, I started feeling right nauseous. I start leaning forward to indicate that I want to go to the bathroom. Meg notices and lets me go. I stumble forward and take off at a sprint to the toilet. When I reach there, I immediately toss up the seat and start vomiting into the thing. It's awful. From outside the bathroom, I can hear the paramedic's voice. Do you want me to stay with you? I open my mouth to answer, but I quickly close it, as it is not words that are about to come out. Sweet saliva washes over my tongue and I grimace, spitting it out in a hurry. That feeling of rolling hurl continues and I keep trying to expel the nauseating water. On a fourth or fifth, or whatever, I'm not counting, attempt that comes out more like sticking drool, a wave of vomit arises. Ooh, I just heard it flop into the toilet. Flop. Meh. Yeah. I pass through me violently and tears form at my eyelashes. Breathing into the puke-filled toilet, I somehow managed to answer rather than blowing chunks again. <clears throat> I'll be fine. My stomach is gurgling. Pantsing over the rim, I listen to the other room. You're her roommate? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Do you have anywhere to go right now? Or in the next few hours, for that matter? No? Great. Stay with her, please. She'll probably be in there for a while, but just make sure to call if it seems any worse than it should be. Like how? How much worse could it get? She could die. Well, actually, it shouldn't get any worse than it is. I just want you to phone us with your Hall's emergency line if she's suffering too much and needs a sedative. Alright. I like Waverly. What is it anyway? Is it just a stomach virus, or is this about her assignment today? The latter. She got radiation poisoning from an out-of-control fusion reaction. You've lost the system. The air was completely burned away. Waverly doesn't respond to this, and the silence is long. As if to fill it, I throw it up again. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only sickness. She's not radioactive anymore. Now I need you to listen. This is important. Make sure she doesn't need anything tonight, okay? She should fast a bit for now. Tomorrow morning, though, get her to eat and to drink lots of liquids. As, as awful as she feels, I need you to make sure she does. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I can. Excellent. Hey, are you sure you don't need anything? Hearing this, I don't even consider it. 
Though I'm practically in pain with all this gastrointestinal warfare, right now I think I seriously deserve to suffer. I need some kind of punishment. I don't want to feel okay after what happened. No, I don't want anything. My stomach's gurgling again? I close my eyes. I think I'm going to need to start sitting on this soon. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is probably the worst combination because you can only... Only one thing can be aimed at the toilet at a time. Alright. Your debriefing has been pushed back till tomorrow afternoon in consideration of your state. How is Cyrus doing, by the way? I would like to know that, even if a winter doesn't. You should also try to visit one of the counselors tomorrow, or on the first week if you aren't feeling up to it. Don't let this eat you up inside. Alright. Okay. Good, I'll be going now. Be sure to have your roommate call us if you need anything. I can't see the paramedic leave, but I hear the door close. Oh no. I let loose into the toilet again. Oh, gross. I flush and then roll over onto the floor. Whoa, shit, seriously already? I mean, hey, you alright? Oh, right, I guess I might have looked like I passed out. <laughs> Wait, you didn't close the door? Although, with how I feel right now, that could happen. Yeah. Stomach. Gurgling. Oh. Nope. I kicked the door shut forcefully. Something's coming from somewhere else. Gripping my abdomen as hard as I can through my sweater, I lower my pants and get onto the seat. This is torment. Seriously. Uh... Yep. Don't know how long it's been since, uh... <laughs> uh... When, um... When that, when that little break happened, when you heard the screaming in the background. Uh... That was a couple days ago. Yep. So sorry about the delay for this part. <laughs> My sister came home and she started screaming and then, uh, I don't like recording when she's right next door. Anyways, uh, that was this part. See you in the next one. Hopefully there's enough to make at least... I'm just hoping that, uh, it doesn't... Cause I feel I feel like it's gonna be ending soon, and I just don't want it to be like, uh, oh yeah, you actually only have ten minutes left. Why'd you stop the video? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyways, yeah, fucked up. But uh, hey, that's what that's what load is for, isn't it? <sighs> uh, yeah. See you in the next part. Bye.